In today's video, we are making a really simple recipe. We're making keto eggnog just in time for Christmas. So if you like eggnog and you have been missing eggnog because you're on keto, it's something you can make really simple at home and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get right on into the video. But before we do, if you're new here and you like keto or low carb recipes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we drop a video. So to make this delicious keto eggnog, we're just gonna start off by cracking some eggs and we're gonna separate them because we're only gonna use the, the yolks in this recipe. There's some recipes out there that use the entire egg. There's some that just separate them and fold it into each other. And there's some that only use the yolks. So this is one of those recipes that is only gonna use the yolks. But definitely don't toss out the egg whites. Make sure that you do use them in something else. So we're just going to crack the egg whites into this bowl. And then as I'm doing that, I'm going to add in the yolks into this pot. And at this point, at this stage right now, you're not, I don't even have this on. So the pot is not on at this point. Let's start off with it turned off. You act, I just have it ready to go. Um, but it's definitely off right now. So once you have your yolks in the pot, go ahead and add in your sweetener and I'm adding in half a cup of sweetener and I'm using monk fruit in this recipe. Use the sweetener of your choice. So once you have that on, I'm going to turn it on just so it can slowly start to heat up, but I'm going to actually mix the egg yolks and the sweetener together and it's not even warm yet or anything like that. We're just trying to get the sweetener to mix with the yolks. It's going to create like a really creamy consistency with that. And then it, as the pot warms up, remember, we're going to keep this on low. Nothing more than that. So here I have two cups of unsweetened almond milk. And you're just going to add that in because you want to make sure that you add it in before it gets too hot. And then the only thing you're going to do with this recipe, um, it's a really simple recipe, but what takes a while is actually whisking it. You're going to whisk and whisk and whisk in this recipe, you guys, because you're just going to pretty much stand there and whisk until it's thickened. And then we're also going to add in two cups of heavy cream. So there's some recipes that only use heavy cream and some that use only almond milk. But the heavy cream may, does help make it a little bit thicker. All right, and then you're just going to whisk until it gets to about 165 degrees um, on, an instant meat, on an instant read thermometer. All right, and it is at about 165 degrees. So now we are going to remove it from the heat and add in the remaining ingredients. So as you can see, it has thickened up a little bit. If you want it thicker, you can definitely change the ratio of heavy cream and almond milk. But now we are adding in some vanilla extract. I'm adding in half a teaspoon. If you really, really want that vanilla flavor, you can definitely add more. But I think this is just the right amount of vanilla for this eggnog. Here I'm adding in some salt powdered clove and nutmeg so some people also like to put cinnamon in there you can definitely do that too i'm putting in half a teaspoon of nutmeg and um about an eighth teaspoon of salt and i believe the cloves was about an eighth of a teaspoon All right, so once you have that all mixed together, you're going to pour it into another bowl. And then um, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's all you're going to do. Now you're going to go ahead and put it in the fridge. Now put some saran wrap on top of the bowl. And then we're going to put it in the fridge for at least about three hours. And then we can transfer it to um, whatever container that or pitcher that you're going to keep your eggnog in. Also going to thicken up a little bit as it cools. All right, guys, so now let's go ahead and pour this eggnog into this glass. And once we get it poured in, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on the top 
and that is it all right so here we have our eggnog and mm. now you don't have to season it exactly the way i did i added cloves and nutmeg in it but you can add cinnamon and nutmeg or whatever you want but this tastes really good with the clove and the nutmeg in it so definitely give it a try this eggnog is actually a clean version no alcohol in it because my son loves eggnog so for this recipe if you want you can include your favorite alcohol rum whiskey whatever it is that you prefer so you can add like an ounce of alcohol to each glass or you can add um you know to the whole recipe so stir that in with your eggnog and you have a nice little treat so if you like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and i will see you on the next one